My name is Lucas In. I'm the chef of Nice Day in, in New York. I grew up in Hong Kong. I started cooking when I was quite young. I went to the school called Yale, and I suppose my journey to today isn't as conventional. When I was 16, we had opened a little private kitchen in this newspaper factory. A whole lot of playing restaurant and pretending like you knew what you were doing, um, until eventually I ended up becoming a proper chef. I think I couldn't help myself by the time I graduated from college, and so I opened the restaurant with my co-founders across the street from my dorm. It was a little Chinese takeout restaurant with a little bit of an intention to figure out what the relationship between Chinese food and America was, especially in terms of its future. I've always been quite interested in trying to tell stories through food, and there is a little bit of a magical quality of food as a starting point for discussions and conversations about culture. Oftentimes when we think about the word sustainability, the first thing we think about is environmental sustainability. But I think it's also helpful for people in the food industry and beyond to think about a more expanded concept of sustainability. Sustainability of mental health, for example, the people of the labor, of the people who generate this food, both at the restaurant level and at the supplier level, distributors, agriculturally. This idea of human sustainability and business and economic sustainability is something that I find really important. Perfect Day is like one of those things that has just like seamlessly fallen into my daily life. Everything that you would use regular milk for, you can use this for. And as somebody who basically is lactose intolerant, it just actually has become my like go-to milk. I use the Perfect Day milk in any sort of like milk-based application. And mostly it's like the versatility. It's also shelf-stable until you like open it. We're making savory milk and it's basically coagulated on purpose to form these beautiful little tiny curds, almost like tofu that's floating on top of a soup. It's an interesting application when you use it with non-animal dairy because interestingly, Perfect Day forms these curds in a way that animal milk doesn't. And actually they're really, really fluffy with fried yotiao and preserved vegetables, shrimp, chili oil, and Perfect Day milk. How do we make cooking and working and running these Chinese restaurants a little bit less grueling, a little bit less difficult? We oftentimes like to think of Chinese American food as a little bit lower, as cheaper. I would hope that over time, consumers and people who eat start to appreciate the work and the cost that's gone into making food, and they'll honor that cost by paying a fair price. If you want to dive deeper, food is a really great platform through which to dive deeper.